Night Attack is brought to you by all of our lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash night attack. Subscribe today to get the pre-show and after show early on your own RSS feed. Also, thank you to Doghouse Systems for powering the show and they're doing it with their incredible computers. Get yourself a free SSD when you use a computer when you get a computer and you use it. Yeah, you don't have to use it. Not my I'm not a cop. At doghousesystems.com slash V slash rogue. Use promo code rogue at checkout for a free SSD. Here's what happened last time on Night Attack episode two hundred and uh, three hundred and twenty three. This is going great. Baby Jesus, I hope I get some presents. <laughs> gotta clean Amy. that up, Amy. Amy! Amy, you gotta clean it up! <laughs> Baby Jesus, nestled with the wise men, bringing you Frank. <laughs> Casey Kasem will not allow this on his program. In a plasma temperature in excess of one million Kevin. Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we want all the Kevins. James. Uh, uh, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, National Treasure ICU bringing us last week's episode of Night Attack. Hello, you beautiful bastards, you demon hordes of the internet. It is live on Tuesday night, which means it has got to be go time for Night Attack. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas, joined as always by my BFF and no way K is J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young. What's up, what's up? Man, how are we going to follow up last week? That was too good. Uh, well, we should probably quit. You know, I feel like this is uh, where we're done. I think you're right. That was the best show we're ever going to do. That's Let's Amy wrap Grant it up. talk, man. Uh, you need to think like a <laughs> producer who told him to, to hold her to settle on some chaste uh, uh, love music. Oh, my God. Brian. Exactly. Well, I, I saw that that video of Amy Grant. Yes. And I thought you guys had found some footage of me as a teenager because... I cannot believe how much we looked alike. That was crazy. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. Actually, uh, that, by the way, that I look at the Invisible Wife, of course. Uh, yeah. but, but there we go. You were saying that this early 90s, for audio listeners only, this is uh, a, a, a 90s recording footage of uh, Amy Grant, which, by the way, top-tier recording studio that looks like dog shit compared <laughs> to what we have in front of us right now. In oh our my hands, God. I in will our not houses. ever get enough of our flex about like <laughs> like my new favorite thing is people complaining in modern rogue videos like the fuck does Brian Brushwood need an X23 or X32? Or I don't know, even know what board that is. Which one is it? It's the 32. Uh, X32 in the background. Why don't he even know what the number is? And it's like like one word response, like nightattack.tv. Eat shit. Yeah. Eat shit. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking hashtag Bryce told me to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what, hashtag what Bryce wants, Bryce gets. Also, meet Bryce. He's over at nightech.tv. Yeah. That's not yeah. very bratty. <laughs> Uh, dude, I thought I was in trouble today on Happy Hour. I brought up a movie that I didn't know existed because a friend of mine last night said, hey, we should watch Matt Donnelly's movie. And I'm like, oh, Matt Donnelly's movie. I know he was in Pendulette's movie, Director's Cut. Uh, uh, sure, let's watch that. He's and like, by the no. way, by the way, drop, drop who this is. This was somebody that was on national television. Eric this Diddleman, is a man. By Eric way, Diddleman way, of America's Got Talent. Eric Diddleman kind of dropped some code words that indicate that I think he listens to all our shit. <laughs> and so now I'm like, we got to get you on the show, bro. Because you're <laughs> oh, totally yeah. No, I'd love to have, love to have Diddleman on. Diddleman was, uh, you know, he was coming up early uh, uh, with eye tricks and, and he was always super rad uh, uh, to me. And I always remember the magicians that were super nice and, and read the site. He's so. also one of those like unending fonts of like pure joy. Like, like he's not there. I don't know. He just he just brings joy to everything. And in this case, he was bringing joy to letting me know about a Matt Donnelly movie that Matt starred in in uh, 2010 called Hitting the Nuts. Did you know about this? <laughs> I did not know about the 2013 or sorry, 2010 comedy uh, Hitting the Nuts, uh, an outrageous group of misfits, including an Amish farmer, strive to hit the nuts. In an annual illegal poker championship in Scott County, Indiana, is that I a did poker not term? know at all about that. So, hitting yeah, the nut? we yeah. yeah, hitting the nuts is when you. I, I've, I'm going to betray all the fucking poker fiends are going to come for me, mm. but I believe hitting the nuts is when, in in the final dealing of cards, you get the cards you need to make your strongest hand. 
So, so, so in other words, it's a bit like um, Top Decking Lethal. <laughs> that was the original title. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so what happened was somebody brought this up yesterday. I brought it up on the happy hour, and then everything was hunky-dory. I, I wasn't worried about anything until, like, a bunch of the scoops, the, the fans of Ice Cream Social in the audience are like, the fuck is this? I've never heard of this. And then, I don't know about you, Justin, but if one of my hardcore fans said, what the fuck is this? I don't know anything about this. Me, yeah. the person, thinks there's probably a good reason why I don't want you to know anything about this. Well, because like their uh, uh, their audience at, at Ice Cream Social is like ours, like a lot of long term hardcore fans that have seen everything. Uh, uh, so it's like that would be. I, I don't even know what would be the 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 similar argument for us like what old artifact uh, uh that everybody knows uh from us that would be the same as what i would assume that would be to them uh it might be like a an obscure game on bit or um uh maybe uh maybe making fun of us for being unkind to someone who later became a friend of the show uh, or like or I would say like you on the on, on the Tonight Show or something like that. Like, oh, have you ever seen Brian on, 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 on the Tonight Show? Whether or not they've seen it, they know that you've been on the Tonight Show. You've referenced it like in episodes and stuff like that. So people would know that that's a thing that you did. That was not the reaction we got today from the scoops who were like, what the fuck? Matt was in a movie, like a full length fucking movie. And then we started playing the trailer and Brian said the famous last words. I don't even know if we'd recognize 2010 Matt, but boy, fucking howdy. Did we recognize him as soon as he came on? Also, screen. he definitely spends half of this trailer with his shirt off. <laughs> like, and it's oh, yes. questionably oh Matt in various <laughs> states of undress. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so, and so I, a, a couple of hours later, call Matt Donnelly completely forgetting that, that we already know they're shooting some kind of ice cream social something or other. So, of course, uh, Matt takes the call and immediately says, hey, man, you're live on ice cream social. And I was like, ooh, this is awkward because I want to ask you whether or not you're comfortable with us talking about this movie you were in. And I tried to talk in code, and he immediately came back with a version of like, uh, oh, no, 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 I'm not embarrassed of that at all. That's great. That's a good thing I did. Let me tell you all about the thing I'm most embarrassed of. There was a reality show where I was supposed to, and then he goes into great detail of saying how he wishes it was scrubbed from the internet, but the thing I cared about, uh, uh, he was totally cool with. All right. Well, then that means we get to share it with everybody else. Of course, Ice Cream Social, uh, uh, go support them if you have not. This is our... Uh, uh, entree into all of their world if you have not heard of the ice cream social podcast before uh, twitch.tv slash hey scoops but can we watch because I've never heard it with sound this hitting the nuts trailer yeah here we go film buff on the trailer here we go this is the official trailer by the way how does this work? Do I, do I speak directly to you? Do I look into the, the machine? <laughs> Some people are like, look at the vases. And I'm like, vases? They're urns. <laughs> They're urns. You have to earn your way to be in here. <laughs> and I was always suspicious of what was going on in the funeral parlor. And I learned when I read a fable, Batman was talking to Buddha on this mountain. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Batman said, Matt, Matt is uh, wearing a vest and nothing else. Uh, and his it looks like belly, a denim vest, but yeah. no. Uh, maybe no. Uh, they have the lighting set up so no, that you get blue a, cloth. Yeah. That is, <laughs> wait, get, wait, wait. That is you get a stark, L. L. Bean circa 1990. <laughs> you, you, get, you get a stark, <laughs> like, uh, conflicted shadow across his belly. And as he's talking, his belly is, like, jumping out for cameo after cameo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and by the way, let me just say. Matt Donnelly, a fucking unit of a human, like just in general. He's a solid dude, just in general. This is this is a prime in his prime, Matt Donnelly. Oh, this I, is it, so good. It's just his wife is so hot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. What, what, what the fuck is, what is that? that? We're not talking about Sarah. What's going on? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Should we just move on, or do you want to spend some time? Do you on want to this, text Bonnie? Dunley about that now? Yeah, well, I mean, we could find footage of his wife if that would be better. For we you. probably shouldn't do that. That should it's probably just, not be the next thing. This is Matt in his prime, and she is like, "Let me just tell you guys, that is inspiration for everyone." Oh, it's anybody like, can achieve your dreams, is what yeah, Bonnie's saying. Like, I don't think that makes it any what? better. I mean, he's not like a super out of shape. He's just a he stocky guy. Yeah. I mean, but that, but that belly's definitely like full on got a spotlight on it. It's, it's emerging repeatedly. The belly's got a spotlight on it, but some dude's got bellies, man. All right, here we go. Buddha on this mountain, and Batman said to Buddha, "With great power comes great responsibility." <laughs> I remember that table every morning. I wake up and remind myself I'm a father. Oh, the whitey tighties! <laughs> the whitey tighties! So. Come on, guys. <laughs> you know. So, oh, this is so great. I cannot wait to watch this. Let me tell you, that girl is attracted to confidence because. <laughs> because wow. Yeah. What the fuck is going on, <laughs> this Bonnie? Is the... Why are you fucking just trashing that man physically? <laughs> Talking about damning with faint praise. <laughs> yeah. Not. I'm saying I get it. I get it. He's fabulous. He's on the movie. That's not the F word that I think you wanted to say. use. I get it. He's fabulous. Look <laughs> at Joe Biden over here. Oh I know. Although, I'll tell you what, Donnelly in his freeze frame looks like he is smuggling about four peeps like it is it is a crowded fucking house in there and it's got a it's got a point on the peak oh it's a fucking goddamn national treasure keep going keep going uh, well it says here one in ten men over 40 have ed now what does that oh my mean? god mom just who cares shut up about ed all those boys are gonna fall under my spell and I'm gonna hook them, <laughs> and then club them, <laughs> and then bury them, and light them on fire, <laughs> and hide the evidence. Something like that. <laughs> Don't look at me that way. We cannot have relations to it. I'm too busy. Don't let I am not see you allowed to be this close okay. to human memories that are not my wife. What are you gonna do, cracker? What are you gonna do, you piece of white rice, huh? <laughs> you bird turd, you gonna call, huh? I'm not as dumb as Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> I, I thought that was the setup, but apparently that was the whole set. Father of Tiger Woods used to yell racial slurs at Tiger when he was five years old to throw him off and making his putts. And that's what I do when he practices poker. I yell slurs at him, throw him off his game. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really offended when people call me Cracker. You know, I'm, I'm used to it by now. <laughs> not anymore. I'm a good parent. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, all right. Totally going to watch this. Okay, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it, though, because those TV trays were too high class. What do you mean? I mean, those were fancy TV trays. Are they? Yeah. The, the, they're eating a dinner in this last shot here. Yeah, but those are nice ones. Yeah, like like, like, like 70s wood paneling, uh, uh, what looks like a very uh, 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 economic couch. Uh, and on what looks to me to be flimsy TV trays. I don't know what tack you are taking here, Bonnie, but then again, every decision you've made during this segment has been baffling. So I'm not going to lie, Bonnie. I mean, those look like Hungry Man leftover trays, uh, but, but, I mean, but the apparently. Trays are, but like, you know, those are fancy TV trays. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. hot takes. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? We really I'm just need a, on with you. a director's cut where they have digitally replaced them with, I guess, worse TV trays. Uh, oh no, no, no! They, yeah, and I think they. All of a sudden, I want to those... see producer Bonnie. Like, like the, the the money lady shows up and she's like, "What are these fucking trays?" <laughs> right. I need shittier yeah. trays. Oh, I'm sorry. Are they, these are uh, totally unrealistic? What are those made from? Ivory tusks of of endangered rhinos? <laughs> fuck you! Oh, Get these God. out of here. Is this here smooth? They didn't have all the dented corners. Those have been used. Get a exactly hammer. Exactly what? That's, That's what she says. <laughs> because 
when you use TV trays yes. the way we did when I was a child. <laughs> all right. Now, actually, this is this uh -huh. is all new to me. Go on. Okay. You have the spotlight. Well, the thing is. Spotlight's on you. Spotlight. Go open ahead. stage. Spotlight and goes right go on for TV Bonnie. tray. Ready, Bonnie? Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie is ready. Show. Bonnie Bonnie walks three, in and two, says, two, Bonnie, Bonnie. In Bonnie. my house, go TV Bonnie. trays look like this. Go for Bonnie. In my house, TV trays look like this. You took them out just for the meal and then you put them back away which means you're in a hurry because you're hungry and so they are roughly handled and they are roughly put away because who wants to spend all that time on tv trays right because you got a tv but, show Bonnie, am i understanding correctly you watched that whole trailer and your takeaway was <laughs> this yeah. rich fucking cunt has yeah. a nice tv tray that i never had no 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 brian 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 this rich fantastic cunt. <laughs> oh uh, anyways <laughs> man weird flex but all right here we go all right uh, i don't know clearly not flexing enough for some people i mean yeah, yeah. you know yeah Baka. any of my 80s peeps out there, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> is it, are, are you going to start your Facebook, appealing. your Facebook meme where it's like only '80s <laughs> peeps <laughs> recognize how yeah, fucking only. too nice these TV trays are <laughs> in this 2010 improv classic? <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, go ahead and, and 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 take that screen grab and post it on Facebook and just say what's wrong with this picture. And then in the body, comments, body like, becomes like if a TV, it's the TV trays. Congratulations, you're an 80s kid body body turns into like the tiger king of tv trays where she's like uh, she's like that matt bitch. donnelly <laughs> making movies 10 years ago with fancy tv trays i'm sorry we couldn't have that <laughs> no all right okay should i go home no no okay. no, no, no. no. You're, you're, you're vital no. you're vital okay and you're brought up to speed uh, uh, with last week's game. Uh, I, I tried to, man, oh man, I, I I came home and I tried to explain the Amy Grant bit to Bonnie. Didn't land. It, yeah. it, it was an of the moment moment. Did the did the the last week on that uh, I see you made? Did that help illustrate what that bit might have been for you, Bonnie? Oh yeah, completely. But I, I was taken aback how exactly my hairdresser had modeled my my Bonnie hair after. Amy, Amy Grant. Grant. I had no idea. Like, well, I didn't have MTV, so like, I, I was she on well, MTV? I mean, uh, to, to be, yeah, I was gonna say. To be was fair, she? neither did Amy Grant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you, you probably did no. have the Trinity Broadcast Network, though. TVN. Uh, uh, it was no, Channel 14 I or whatever. Definitely didn't have that. I had ABC and CBS, but only if the weather was good. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no. So I, I don't think I've ever seen Amy Grant. So I didn't know my hair was basically her hair. It was really strange. And then I had a, a I had this outfit that was exactly that outfit. But it was I mean it really kind of blew me away. I was like, what's going on? And then, anyways, yeah. there you go. <laughs> and the bit was that she was singing dirty songs. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the part we didn't get to. That's the part she was singing about sucking dick. Yeah. And the baby Jesus. I don't know. Brian comes in and he's in the same song. Yeah. Can you imagine? I yeah. think he was just trying to inspire me. He's like, <laughs> hey, we're talking about Amy Grant sucking dick. And it's always been in my fantasy because you look just like her. <laughs> Brian, how much version. of that is true? <laughs> um, yeah, Brian. I, 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 I like. Suck yeah, I like people who suck dick. Oh, that's hundred uh, percent. I don't. Uh, Justin, yeah. we have a one hundred percent recorded on file. <laughs> that's yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry, uh, Tess just came in a hundred percent. As it turns out, you uh, have a sexual fantasy for Amy Grant, and that was part of your attraction to Bonnie. Uh, do you know what we talked about during happy hour that you missed, Bonnie? What did I miss? Uh, Okay, you know those uh, those prank lottery tickets that are winners? Oh, yeah? What about those prank lottery I tickets that are winners? I asked out loud whether or not somebody was an awful enough person to make that with pregnancy tests that <gasps> always came out positive. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, uh, you, you want to make a bet whether uh, or not they oh, exist? Oh, yeah, that exists because yeah. somebody can make money off of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, so that's exists. for reals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you want to explain to Bonnie your 
your funny plan. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think in what situation would that remotely be funny, and the the closest I could come up with was uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> because because I've had my nuts cut, and then and then like to push on you like man you've had some headaches lately just you know just to get it off our chest you want to take a, a oh pregnancy my test God. I would how have would like that have landed total heart attack you know what's weird is just yesterday I was thinking I wonder if I could still get pregnant like you know I'm that old. You know, I had Amy Grant's hairstyle, so that kind of tells you my age. She was thinking about having a baby baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. No. Anyways. Um, so not funny. not funny. Not funny. No, that would not right. be yeah, funny. Yeah, my, my, my commentary on it was, do you, you really want to pick now to try Bonnie's patience? Like in the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> right. That seems like the worst time. It's like as soon as a big payday comes in and there's no restrictions on <laughs> death air, like I think like that <laughs> might be the time for such a hilarious but, prank. But 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 the key is, and this was my thought process, is as long as they're happier after finding out that it's not true then you're good. So Aww. like, like now's the time to do it. So it's like, Oh, thank goodness. No. Uh, uh. Are you awing because you think you would be happier after the prank? Bond? There's no way <laughs> I'm going. Oh my God. I'm going to have a baby. Oh, a baby. Cause babies are good. Right. Yeah, like yeah. babies are just, Oh, babies. And so you would give me a baby and, and then, then take, take it, it away. away from me. Yeah. No, yeah. no, that's you know. the thing I would do. Cause I'm bad. Yeah. No, that's the bad person yeah. thing yeah. to do in the middle of a pandemic. Right. Like in the middle of a be, pandemic. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Don't a slam demic is all call it. Slam demic. Oh, man. Well, how do you think that How do you happened? think you got in this position, yeah, Brian? That's right. I Cram wish. Demic. Slam demic. <laughs> a sham demic. More like. Sham I'll tell her it's demic. a COVID test. Go ahead and just pee on it. Oh, wait. You've got the coronavirus. Yeah, that's it. Psych. No, you don't. Oh, no. Anyways, a lot of people are calling it the slam demic because of all the porking snarkly. <laughs> More like the flam demic. <laughs> Cram demic. All right. Hey, uh, uh, <laughs> people want to support the show. Oh, oh you, we you can know go what? through the rest of the alphabet, this, though. Uh, can, 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 we, can we give a little tip of the hat? Um, mm. Because uh, guess who? What alumnus mm. of, of Night Attack and his previous incarnations is about to hit 1 million subscribers? Like any minute now. Uh, I don't know who. You don't have a guess? That reminds me, I was no. going to. I mean, subscribe. no, I don't. We've had a lot of people on the show. OMG. And also, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. Here's the other thing the problem that you put me into with that is I could just start naming people that I know have YouTube channels, and then there would be a bunch of no's because oh, yeah. they haven't gotten there. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> just Very like, smart. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have a, a baby. <laughs> Man, maybe, maybe we should send one of these to Chad for him to pee on and find out he's pregnant. Oh. Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah. uh, no, uh, uh, OMG Craft is about to hit 1 million subscribers. Look at that, 996,000. Uh, amazing. Is that incredible? Amazing. That, I mean, hell, I remember back at Twit uh, this week in YouTube, he was talking about building his channel and how uh, the goal was to get to 30K. He wanted 30K followers. And Wait, uh, look at his... that boy now. Uh, what so is the. We got to figure out something sweet to send him. Uh, from from uh, our crew over to his. What uh, is ass. his? Because I looked at OMG Chad. Yeah, his OMG, OMG Craft, Craft, his OMG Minecraft Craft. channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Minecraft tips Nine, and tutorials. Nine, six, any minute. Congrats, Chad. Uh, but meanwhile, Hell if you guys yeah. want to support this show, you know what you, you could do is you can head on over to patreon.com slash night attack, right? Uh, guys, here's the deal. Not only do we do this show each and every Tuesday live on twitch.tv, not only do we do it via podcast, not only do it uh, on YouTube, posting it there, but now, guys, we are doing five extra shows a week. The Night Attack Happy Hour has exploded the content on this uh, feed uh, and exploded the value you get. If you think that any bit of that is worth a little bit of your money, head on over, patreon.com slash night attack. We are doing more for you, and if you like it, we very much appreciate, especially during these trying times, 
that you reward us with a little coin. Yeah, dude. And as a matter of fact, if you're a new pledger or if you up your pledge, you have a chance to randomly be called out on a little thing we like to call. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of it. Dude. I reward persistence, and there's one person who's been very pers persistent, penny after penny after penny, week after week, sometimes multiple times in the day. I just want to say thank you, no matter what you're doing. Neil Fleisch. 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 Thank you, Neil. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, and then, of course, Brian, uh, twitch.tv slash Night Attack is where uh, we are broadcasting right now. We like to recognize the live audience by telling a story that totally isn't comprised of screen names for people that are subscribing and giving us bits. Yeah, doggone right, man. We only tell the truth on this show, and I mean it with all sincerity when I talk about this blue-eyed ginger southpaw I don't want to say his name, but it rhymes with Stoic Squirrel. His name was Gary. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that, I, yeah, I, I encountered this beautiful bastard one day, and he was a real cranium boy. He had a lot going up upstairs, right? He's in there thinking yeah. like E M equals M C squared or whatever. And I tried to join in. I was like, DSA 89. He's like, that's not a real equation. I'm like, but I had letters and numbers. And then he said, ah, you belong with the bio cow. And I looked over expecting a biological cow, but instead I saw yeah. our friend bio cow. Uh -oh. And he said, uh, he said, I <laughs> am a ghost. I am composed of Ooh. dead polymers. I am no real bio cow. I am the Lenina of cows and i was like what does that even mean he says the la nina is a ghost it's mexican for matt hag music and i was like <laughs> wow dude you really are uh and then the salvia trip ended it was really weird thank you very much there your man go. jeff <laughs> wait what is salvia uh what what is salvia you don't yes. know about it you can trip from yeah. uh salvia is a drug yeah. that is largely an unpleasant trip Okay. But it condenses time. So the whole trip is maybe like 30 seconds to two minutes long. They used to sell it in gas stations, I think. Seriously? Yeah. And you would you would smoke. It was like synthetic. It was like all synthetic. It was it basically was synthetic plastic. weed. Yeah. So what? it was yeah, it, it, it's yeah. it's synthetic weed. And in a world uh of about a decade and change ago where uh the world was not very friendly to weed, there had been no weed legalization. Uh, that became the thing that you could legally mail, you could buy at gas stations, uh, and it resulted in some people freaking the fuck out. And every oh. salvia story I've ever heard has involved one person experiencing a salvia trip and the other person saying nothing but, you're okay, you're okay, hold on, it's almost <laughs> over, you're okay. Oh my god, that sounds horrific. How long did it last? Uh, well, that's the thing. It's like, like two minutes, but they feel like it's a lifetime. Ew. I don't like that. That's a no go. Yeah. That's a mm. no go. Scratch that. But what if it really just tipped you into a different vortex of reality? I mean, instead of getting high, it did that thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I think that's exactly what everybody would describe the experience as. Oh my God. <laughs> it's an hour of You're it. Right, people are saying that <laughs> salvia is not chat. corner hour. Okay. New thing. Yeah. Whoever salvia gets... is not fake weed. It is another kind of plant that's not weed. But sure. whatever. whatever. It was everything else we it said. It was in gas stations, that. whatever. It was sold as yeah. incense and Wait. then you like, could get like they, it high. You, you could sell it because it was so new they hadn't made it illegal yet. Right. Is Which it is illegal the constant now? Race that is happening. Well, who knows? I mean, I, I believe so. Interesting. I wasn't a fan. I, I'm oh, you, one star did, on did, Yelp. Wow. Did you? Did you? Did you take a trip? Did you take a trip? On, no, not really. Mm. On a that rocket wasn't, ship. Yeah, that wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. I, I mean, it was when it was all hot, and I was like, eh, I'll try it. If a buddy of mine was like into it, and I was like, oh, okay, sure. Eh, not a fan. Okay. Hmm? 
There you go. There's your trip advisor trip of the week. Yeah, there we go. Your I know that advisor. that's often something that people wonder. I wonder what Justin's opinion on Salvia is. Well, <laughs> the silence is broken. Uh, I don't know if you guys are going to come back next week, but we pop that balloon. Uh. Uh, hey, Bryce, <laughs> you got a game for us? Hey, we've got a game this week. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ball washer sixty nine. Oh, thank goodness! Thanks, ball yeah, washer. Those balls are so ball clean. You ball are washer. an essential. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 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 in fact, I'll just read this. Um, a long time listener here. I've been watching some of the old episodes and keeping track of good. I said what lines along the way? I've got a really good game no! for y'all. Do you guys, do you guys this remember is, the last? It, now, this, do you remember the last time we did? I said what? It was like uh, a few they, months ago. If, if I remember correctly, like quite literally, Fuck everything you. was from one week before, and none of us none knew of us any of it. So. Uh, well, or, or, or okay. maybe I'm thinking no. of the time that you that recycled was, a game you're of that. and made us replay it again, oh, and then and, and then just sort of knew. cackled that we didn't remember. Yeah, it was just I. Yeah, I cackled because it was funny. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the last time we said, I said what we, you know, in the pantheon, you know, gaming is important here on the Night Attack podcast. It's very important that we do it right and we do it proper. And I think it's a good time to say, I think the last time we said, I said what, uh, we need to give it an official asterisk because we weren't sure of the rules. We weren't sure who the lines could have been from. Sure, so we have we have a very we have a new edition of I said what. And we know exactly who could have said these lines. It could have either been Bonnie or myself. Oh, shit. Oh! Not us. Not us. So much better. Better game. Because if I remember correctly, the last version of I Said What shit, was like, shit, um, shit. Justin, Brian, which of you said this? Hello. <laughs> and no! then it's like, fucking, I don't know. All I, right. I, I, uh, it was I not. It was just like... Hitler did what? Okay, well, uh, and that one's a I little mean, that's, closer that's to that's uh, Justin uh, Bryan, hello. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Also, I think the last time we played I Said What is an episode that'll never be heard. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, that's right. That was also that. So um, we have a new game, I Said What? The Bonnie and <laughs> Bryce edition. Oh, dear. Uh, we have got a couple of quotes here. Uh, so Brian and Justin, if you guys can at least help us maybe be our reenactors here. Sure, 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 uh, sure. And so sure, every, course, every, yeah. everybody can play, Bonnie and myself, but also Brian and Justin. Um, mm. And uh, we'll see who knows who said what. All right, you guys ready? Ready. Yeah. All right. Cool. Brian, I'm going to give you this first quote if you can give it back to me. The quote is, it's a toy-shaped sex object. It's a toy-shaped <laughs> sex object. Uh, let me, let me, let me uh, read this as, uh, uh, Justin, if you don't mind, I'll read it as Bonnie, and you can read it as Bryce. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's a toy-shaped sex object? I'm uncomfortable with how spot on that was. <laughs> uh, all right. And then I'm, I'm Bryce. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Bryce would be a little bit more like, it's a toy shaped sex object. Yeah. No, that's a pretty good Bryce. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. In fact, I, 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 I'm going to go with Bryce. I, 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 I think Bryce is. is I'm is totally going one. with Bryce too. That sounds so direct. Right. I think I. I'm going to say yeah. Bonnie on this one. I don't know. <laughs> Justin. No, you... I think it's, I think it's a, a, a Mr. Bryce goes to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> the Constitution, explain it to me. It's a toy shaped, shaped. sex object. It's a toy shaped <laughs> sex object and your preteens are getting into it. <laughs> and the slow clap by a, a man taking off his uh, a, a hard hat, putting it under his arm. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is from, ooh, this is, uh, this one's a little aged. This is from 2015. This is the Night Attack number 71 pre-show. Oh. Some of these are from the pre-show. All right, oh. here we go. Calgar Curtis disapprovingly points out that that's not a dildo. That is a vibrator. No. Uh, it's well, uh, it's a sex. Uh, it's a toy shaped sex object. Is it? That was a little bit saucier than I expected. <laughs> like like yeah. uh, uh, Bryce was selling it. There was there was a little bit of ASMR in there. <laughs> that was before I got to this level. This this volume. Even. This is before my heart was what. broken and I became. <laughs> Jaded on the inside. So maybe <laughs> also, not. let me just say, uh, Bryce, looking trim compared to 2015. Congratulations. Yeah, you were uh, looking oh, oh, a little now you do. fantastic yeah. back in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a little 
I was starting to put on my Austin 15 back in yeah. 2015. No, no. This is, yeah, no, it's looking, looking good now. Very cool. All right, so that's a point to Brian, Justin, Bonnie, and the chat. The chat guessed it correctly. All right, uh, Justin, I'm going to give you the next quote, if you can, please. Yep. The quote is, these guys take games too seriously. You can start us off here. These guys take games too seriously. <sighs> give me your best, Bonnie. I'm going... Oh, my Bonnie impression. Okay. Yep. These guys take games too seriously. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's really that's pretty good. good. Let, 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 let me sell this as best I can as Bryce. <clears throat> uh, these guys take games too seriously. All right. <laughs> wow. Wowzers. Wow, that was good. Oh, mm. I think this is, for me, this is Bonnie. I would say I mean, this Bonnie is me. would be the leader this in the clubhouse, like right? Totally this sounds like, like a Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. No, it's I, 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 thought a, I thought it was 100% Bonnie until you did that impression, Brian. And I then know. I was like, fuck, <laughs> I couldn't hear that. <laughs> These guys. I got a little bit serious. of a doubt. But I was like, nah. <laughs> This sounds so vague and kind of wishy-washy. It's, it's a Bonnie thing. Okay, I think everyone, including the chat, is saying Bonnie. <laughs> this is from episode 280, Night Attack 280, with Scott Johnson. Oh, let's, it's not. Well, let's see. And hey, if you're a patron, <laughs> listen to the after show where I tell the guys a fun fact about the quiz that they just took. Oh, my gosh. Actually, <laughs> I'm a little upset because like, I would like to revel in the win. But then I'm like, oh, these guys take games too seriously. <laughs> 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 Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little more forward, though. I'm surprised. I would have thought it was more kind of flippant between these guys take games. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, there was just yeah. the right amount of contempt in there. <laughs> All right, Brian, if you can start the reenactment for us. Sure, sure. One. The quote is Cheesers, Beezers. <laughs> All right, I remember Bryce saying this, and he was like, uh, trying to find a link to a thing and couldn't find it. And he was like, oh, cheesers, beezers. <laughs> oh, see, that's funny because I remember Bonnie uh, saying, cheesers, beezers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so flattered that you guys know me so well. That's really kind. <laughs> I'm still I'm still going with Bryce. I actually think Bryce said this one. I I also think I actually is... I would go I would go Bryce as well only because that was the only way I could think to make it work for Bonnie was would to make it like like the the puttering out of an improv cuz otherwise I couldn't think of Bonnie saying cheesers beezers. I know, but I don't really see Bryce saying cheesers beezers. Hmm. But I I'm, I'm going to say Bryce because it doesn't feel like something it seems more like bryce to say cheesers beezers. that's right I, it sounds this like is... it absolutely sounds like a thing or the type I mean, of thing uh, i would say like, also oh. let me point out that at no point is the c word worked into it so i i assume it's bryce and not <laughs> yeah yeah it's most likely bryce no i would i would imagine that there in all of our time broadcasting that there was a cheesers beezers phase that came and went that was like it wasn't long Maybe it was two weeks of Bryce trying to make Cheezers Beezers work. And oh, then that Jesus, was it. Can I do a side That's, bet? No, though? That I think, ooh, yeah, well, okay, side bet. My side bet is that Cheezers Beezers would be worked into an MC allergy song, but only. Oh. So it wasn't, it wasn't a Bonnie brush of it. It would be an MC allergy. Oh, MC allergy, Cheezers yeah. Beezers. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I can't even see that really. <laughs> Hunters, I feel like Brian. <laughs> Brian. I said, no, you, no, you, no, you took that one. You took the bait. You made that one. You cast My that new one. Favorite. That's what Bonnie would say. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Brian, I feel like Bonnie is now asking us like a blackjack dealer, like, would you like to buy MC allergy insurance? <laughs> like, there's like that, Man, that little, like, you can go ahead and buy MC allergy insurance if you want. All right. So everyone is saying it's me, yep. uh, including the chat with 71% of the vote. All right. Let's take a look. This is from Night Attack near the end of Night Attack 186's pre-show. Oh. Early pre-show. Some pre-show ones in here. All right. Oh, he's still good. Well, good. Oh, it slowed down. I did slow it down. <laughs> okay. 
right. Oh, <laughs> wowzers. Cheezers, beezers. <laughs> ah. Why was that, why was that white truck? Was that white right. truck is on it. <laughs> wow. Cheezers. It was a cheezers, beezers phase. A cheezers, beezers phase actually happened. Ah. Ooh, ah, beezers, oh, beezers. my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh God! Would... I will. I, Cheezers Beezers needs to stay around. I'm all in <laughs> on Cheezers Beezers yeah. now. Okay, make a T-shirt, guys. Teaser, yeah, make Cheezers Beezers. <laughs> Do a Teespring. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the next one, Bri uh, Justin. You're gonna start the reenactment on this one. The quote is, "Don't show the nipples. <laughs> Don't show the nipples." God. I think I remember Bryce saying don't show the nipples yes that's exactly how he would say it um also i don't believe bonnie would ever e even like bonnie's version would be like show the nipples <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna go with you i'm gonna say bryce bryce 100 said don't show the nipples i could see bonnie go like don't show the nipples. Like, no, that's your Bryce impression. No, okay. Do your Bonnie impression. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh geez. Uh, man, Bonnie, what do you? What well, do you I'll tell you what. Half half the audience is is really believing in Bonnie on this one. Brian, you're you're totally out on the possibility Bonnie, that it could be Bonnie with the straight face. I want you to to try to 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 tell us not to show the nipples. Mm. I don't think I would care though. So like, but but. But Bryce Sweetie, would care because it affects That's not the game. Outfit. That's not the game. You guys, you guys are both roll. playing defense against the one simple tenant of this game. Yes. I which like is, to which is win. And, and, <laughs> come on. Come on. Bonnie, Bonnie, sell it to us. Make us believe yeah, you don't want you? to see those nipples. Don't show the nipples. The, okay, that's what I see? did. I did that. That. Okay. Yeah. Don't uh, don't show the nipples. I, I feel like you hey, actually I would, uh, don't show the nipples. Don't show the nipples. Don't show the nipples. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think that's more of a Bryce way. I I agree. I think uh I think Bryce. I would say nailed it, but then so that feels awkward with the word nipples. I, 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 I'm, 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 go I'm Bonnie. fingers crossing. In fact, I'm to gonna I'm gonna make my pick, Bonnie. I think that this might be a Bonnie thing. I I feel like God, it's I a Bonnie. So. I hope so. Okay. No, no. Turns I don't. out in the bit, Bonnie Bryce. was making fun of Bryce. <laughs> yeah, I she's like, don't show the nipples. It's me. Don't show the nipples. <laughs> I'm Bryce. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's take a look. This is the quote. Don't show the nipples from uh, the Night Attack 187 pre-show. 187 pre-show. Yes, I mean, I mean, that's like, any like, flow like, state. Like, okay, this, okay. This, see, this, see, this, this is going into. Don't at least see? don't show the nipples. <laughs> 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 Ah! Brian was giving us some of that uh, <laughs> that fabulousness. <laughs> He's so fabulous. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, okay. Oh. You, don't show the nipples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's remember. a million reasons why I'm All uncomfortable right. with this bit. Mm. I think you're gonna have to get some whitey tidies now, Brian. <laughs> some whitey tidies. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I can uh, match. Matt, I can cosplay as Matt Donnelly in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in the bedroom. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah, I should go as Matt Donnelly uh, from Hitting the Nuts for uh, uh, Scoop Fest. What, yeah, what if we do that? Show up for like you guys show up for what ice if, cream. What if what if every, every cream single pot. member of Diamond Club showed up all identically cosplaying? <laughs> the white tiny whiteies, <laughs> fucking stick on tattoo, cowboy hat, nothing else, and a, <laughs> a shiny ass uh, uh, folding table. <laughs> 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 With a far too nice. It's TV too nice. Tray. Don't tray. don't rough it up. Don't make it look like it's appropriate, everybody. Oh, no, just, get, just pull you, it right out of the box on the venue if you can. Fact, really, just keep it pristine. Yeah, oh. like when you get there is when you pull off that film off the top. Oh, each, that's uh, right. Yeah, that plastic you don't do it film. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Four quotes into this and. Uh, Brian, Justin, Bonnie, and the chat all have four points. I've got two points. Uh, we'll get into the next one here, Brian. If you can Wait. start. Sure. Oh, it was him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, yes. It it oh, yeah. That was yeah. It was me. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, number five, Brian, if you can start here. The quote is, <laughs> oh, no, Justin, I don't think you noticed what you did. Okay. Um, oh, oh, no, Justin, Justin, I don't think you noticed what you did. Do you want me to play Bonnie or, or Bryce in this? You go with wherever you feel comfortable, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll pick up the I rest. feel more comfortable with Bonnie, but I'm going to go with Bryce. <clears throat> Uh, say it one more time. 
Oh no, Justin, I don't think you noticed what you did. Okay. <clears throat> this would be mid-realization and simultaneously horrified and thrilled. <laughs> Hands going to his face. <laughs> Bryce says, Oh no, Justin, I don't think you realized what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! God damn it, Keeping that's my good. Hands down that's for pretty the good. Fuck. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's pretty good. I can't good. believe you did that with Steve oh, Rice. Shit. <laughs> shit. Fuck. I was not prepared for how good that was going to be. <laughs> that was amazing. Now I feel like an asshole. <laughs> I had to do another impression after that. That was, I thought that was Bryce. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, uh, what was the line again? The line is, oh, no, Justin, I don't think you noticed what you did. Oh, no, Justin, <laughs> I don't think you noticed what you did. I'm such a slow talker. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> like, when I did my thing, I'm like, I cannot. I am such a slow talker. And that's exactly what Justin's picking up on. Now, here's here's the thing, though. And this is where I'm I'm confused on this one mm -hmm. because I know that Bryce says Justin more because I feel like whenever Bonnie's on the show, it's just like already plugged in and we're all just kind of talking where Bryce does a lot more traffic copping in terms of like, you know, yeah. technical directions. And so yeah. it's just more in his vocabulary. But then again, I don't know if Bryce would be like, oh, I don't think you know what you did there. It would like stop the show and point out something that just happened. Mm. If he was going to do that, he would just make a joke on top of it, like, mm. and kind of roll it forward. So I'm, I'm legit split on this. I have no idea. Uh, I'm not split. That's definitely a Bryce thing. That's like, totally like, a Bryce. That, I that, wouldn't... that is, that is Bryce doing his very best, uh, elementary school crossing guard <laughs> trying his best to help all of us like oh sweetie i don't think you mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly i, the, I mean that's I where would, that came like from. but at this point like there's there, there's no denying that that's the pull but i don't know whether or not i really like george hw bush or i just like dana carvey's impression of george hw bush <laughs> yeah, yeah like that's uh -huh. That's really where I'm at right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go Bonnie. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with Bonnie. No, nah, I I absolutely think it is Bryce because I don't think I have it in me to like call out your behavior. Like I wouldn't be like, oh no, I don't think you. You there know, there like, is kind that... of a confidence behind it where it's just like, oh sweet summer child. I, I yeah. can you see even that. Know what you've done. I can see that. Yeah. So I think that's kind of a Bryce thing. Like you said, like the traffic cop kind of thing like oh no 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 you know but like <laughs> or i feel like if i did it it would be it would be in that kind of like we i'm about to explain a broader thing about this. right yeah. exactly yeah. it's like let's take a moment here and and observe this moment and whereas one, I don't think I'm that self-aware in the moment. And two, I don't think I would say, oh, no, call you by name and say a thing. It's so, the calling by name that I yeah. think is the, is the real trick. Yeah, yeah I, agree. I don't think so. So anyways, right, so this will be interesting. Brian, Bonnie, and myself are going to say that Bryce said that Justin and the chat realm seem to believe it is Bonnie. Let's take a look here. This is from Night Attack 192, the monster and the cam girl. <laughs> Can you spell coinify? Uh, I'm going to say K-I-O-N-I-F-Y, coinify. Oh, no, Justin. I don't think you noticed what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it was me! <laughs> Mm. Oh, but that's what not did the he do though? I would have thought. I, K I, I fucked up. I fucked up K I O instead of O I. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So he wasn't I, even I, horrified. I, I, I kinda, so I, I gave a totally wrong that reading that on that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, that mm. is tricky. <laughs> but you want to know what? History is written by the winners, and that's how I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that he said that. That's how I'm choosing to believe that he said that. <laughs> okay, let's get into uh, number six. Uh, uh, Justin, you're going to start with the quote first this time. The quote is, look at your hat. <laughs> I mm, Look at your hat. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I remember Bryce saying, look at your hat. <laughs> 
Uh, what's funny is I picture Bonnie saying this to me, and it's like, I mean, look at your hat. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> no, shit. I really think this is a Bonnie thing. We're focusing, like, if I'm going to do a corrective move, it's on the way you look. So, <laughs> and it'd be probably geared towards Brian's sweat-brimmed <laughs> hat. hat. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with Bonnie on this one. Yeah, I kind of think so. I'm going with Bonnie. Justin, what about you? Did you pick? I I think Bonnie. You've sold me on the idea <laughs> that Bonnie <laughs> cracking on Brian is the way to go here. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, we've seen it with some of the other clips. This was when I w this uh, this would not <laughs> surprise me if this is when I was wearing a hat a lot on the show. <laughs> but by the way, the chat poll is one hundred percent Bonnie. <laughs> One hundred percent body. And I know you that have, we've had you have made mm -hmm. Yeah, you have you have made such a compelling narrative <laughs> that Bonnie would want to make fun of your hat. <laughs> and I remember I remember there being a time I just I don't remember the context or when or what, but I remember Bonnie and I having a conversation about my hat. Yeah, I remember that might have been. I I'm also gonna say Bonnie. <laughs> okay. All right, now. Third, ninety percent of the chat says it's Bonnie as well. Okay, this is from uh, an episode of the Night Attack podcast. Uh, episode, oh, the after show of one ninety two, one ninety two. All right, here we go. Justin, you want to you want to get dressed up on the Halloween? We could do, yeah, I could do. I don't know what the fuck I'd do, but I'd figure uh, it out. I usually don't dress up, but you don't dress up. No, I'm not, I'm not like super into Halloween. Look at your hat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one. That was the one. It wasn't even directed at me. That was the one. I knew it. I knew that was the one. <laughs> 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 she fucking ethered me. Well, look at your head. Look at your head. Bryce, I am so sorry. <laughs> The twist that it wasn't even me that she was directing that to. Oh, oh not in a million God. years. Oh all right, all God. right, Bryce, Bryce, mm. Bryce, please, please. I can, I can. Rank them. Oh. That hat or Cheezos Bezos? Where are you at? Ooh. Where's one? Where's two? Cheezos Bezos or that hat? Uh, uh, I like that hat. It's a good hat, but. <laughs> Body burns. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. No, I remember the that was the immediate heart. reaction. We had this exact same reaction in the moment. Yeah. Look at us. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm just really glad that in our our uh, elegant economic writing of this episode that we reinforced Bonnie's uh, uh, unrestrained image shaming. <laughs> God. Early in the episode, oh so it could god. pay off here. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm oh my god. so sorry. No, it's fine. That was apparently uh, three years ago. I, so. Two and a half, but not really counting. To that moment, mm. I'd like to say you're not afraid to put yourself out there with hats. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, <laughs> damning with faint praise. I feel like I thank you, but. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another one. Oh. How about? Oh, this is a good one, uh, and we're gonna start with Brian recreating this one the quote is booby 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 <laughs> i mean first of all i feel like if this was everyone i would say this is a brian quote well correct i know uh, booby, but booby. which is what makes me feel like uh the the halo extends to bonnie <laughs> with anything misogynistic i feel like i feel like bryce would be very careful not to say anything uh, sexually reductionistic or misogynistic. So, uh, meanwhile, somebody's favorite curse is the C word. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say Bonnie. Uh, oh. But how would she say it? She go like, like, uh, um, <clears throat> um, oh shit. How would she say it? In what context? Like, I wouldn't just go. Oh, booby, okay, booby. no, here we go. I got it. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> this video. It's booby, booby, booby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's strong. Nailed it. That's... See, I would say, it, Bryce, it would be more like uh, like, like stenographer, like, and uh, booby, booby, 
early. <laughs> yes. Okay. See, now, that's that's compelling too. That's yeah, good. Oh my good. Man, like, this is a great Brian take on this it. game. I'm enjoying this a lot. <laughs> yeah. So if Brian said it first, which sounds likely, yeah, then. Bryce would take down the notes. I would be writing because I, I write. So I keep oh, notes. Yeah. That was like like them titties. Mm. Booby, 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 booby. Mm. And then he was like, "Okay, booby, yeah. booby." And yeah, booby. I don't, I don't know. That, yeah, that's fifty fifty on that. No, but I think I, I'm with Bonnie. I'm, my vote is for Bonnie on this one because I can definitely hear that like that that super like just exasperated like. Booby, booby, booby. That's all you want. <laughs> almost, almost dipping into Alex Jones territory. <laughs> Boobies make you gay. Boobies. Booby sweat <laughs> cause COVID-19. <laughs> I, I think I'm, I'm going to say that this is, I think it's likely Bonnie, which is why I'm going to say myself. I'm swinging for this to be a, to be a twist. Go. Mm -hmm. Game Swing. Theory Bryce. Game twisted, Theory Bryce. Like the it. twisted booby. <laughs> a Bryce tale of Game Theory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the chat Behold, round. a producer of a late night comedy show, Bryce Castillo, constantly at odds end, <laughs> wanting to twist reality, to twist and the booby as it were. All right. All right, uh, this is from episode 302. So this was recent. This would have, this was oh my God. late last year. Sometimes the laugh turned to boners. God damn it, our titles. <laughs> right. This is a good show. I mean, like, imagine how much abuse you have to do to the titty for the uh, pipe sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, if, if, <laughs> that's where you, uh, you booby, plant booby, booby. your face. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Who had the multiplier <laughs> on the Super Mario tune? <laughs> That's a point for me. A booby, 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 booby. <laughs> booby, booby, booby. All right, we've got uh, three more here. The current standing Brian uh, has one, two, three, four, uh, six points. Justin has five points. Bonnie has six points. I have five points, and the chat realm has five points. They're playing a lot mm -hmm. in the chat. All right, we got a few more here. Justin, we're going to give this <clears throat> quote to you first. The quote is, yep. oh, no, we do not have a laugh track. <laughs> in fact, I will say that, oh, no, and we do not have a laugh track have an exclamation point at the end of them. Just, Both of them. I'm trying to throw the trying to throw the vibe so I don't give you an early indication. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. we do I not can, have a laugh I track. I can remember I think I can remember Bonnie saying, oh, no, we don't have a laugh track. <laughs> uh, whereas, whereas I can totally picture Bryce after glancing left, glancing right, looking at an iPad, looking at another device saying, oh, no, we don't have a laugh track. <laughs> like like oh, in the moment production, shit. he's trying to no, find I think, it. No, I think you might have actually nailed it that it might actually be him just looking at the fucking soundboard. Yeah, that's what I say. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's my, 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 my pick is uh, the Bricer. Justin says Bryce. Uh, Brian, you said me? Yep. Okay, Bonnie, what, what do you think? I um, think oh. it's Bryce because I loathe laugh tracks. So not that I mind them. Yeah, but that's why ironically. you might mock us when a joke goes bad. Saying, yeah. Oh, no, we don't have a laugh track. No, I just don't think I would go for that. Mm. But you know, it, it makes sense for a producer to be looking for a not, Yeah, I totally I, think in that context. I it's think Bryce. I think it's me, but I think the tone or I think the context is different. I think it's like because it says we do not have a laugh track, which is which is something I say when it's like we do not have a laugh track, right? It would I think it would be kind of a a big oh. like like clarity. Maybe after the third or fourth time we've asked for a laugh track, and yeah. then you finally have to explain and to like, us we, we do, do not, not have, have a laugh, laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like we have a laugh track. I, oh we do God. not have a laugh track. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. I only have the other two. Okay, uh, so everyone says it's me. Let's take a look here at, uh, at this quote. This is from an episode of Night Attack uh, number 239 or 293 in the pre show. Uh, here, oh, it looks like Justin was maybe out of town on this. Let's take a listen. Hispanic friends. <laughs> so it's okay. 
He has yeah. lots of Hispanic friends. It's not racist. It's just, yeah, it's like any white kid who goes to USC. Eventually, you have two Hispanic friends. <laughs> oh, no! We do not have a laugh track. <laughs> oh, we did not consider the possibility that she was just horrified that we actually had a laugh track. Oh, I had it, and I called it for the wrong person. Oh, that's great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and that is the only context in which <laughs> we would say. Wow, there we go. Okay, a couple more here. Uh, oh, here we go. Brian, I'm going to give you this quote. The quote is, damn this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, write down. <sighs> I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> Brian's looking at me I, very I, I need sternly. To, I need to give, uh, uh, Justin, I feel like we have to give both versions. Um <clears throat> Bonnie, <laughs> do we? Because I feel I feel like we're barely scraping by where we each give one. <laughs> if Bonnie were to say it, it would be, "Damn this fucking shit." <clears throat> but if mm. uh, Bryce mm. were to say it, it would be with hands on a thing where he'd be like, oh, "Dick, damn this fucking shit." Okay. Okay. So kind of similar situations, maybe different intonations. Yeah. yeah. I just don't see Bryce Brian doing counts that. for my impressions. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm, I'm going to go with Bryce. Right, Brian's going to go with me. Justin, what are, what are you thinking? Uh, I am going to say Bryce. Also going to say me, Bonnie. What do you feel? Damn this fucking oh, shit! It sounded like I don't know. I just think you're so much cleaner cut than that. Like I don't know. My impression is yeah. that you just. Don't frequently curse. And I'm gonna okay. say it was me. I mean, that's I, I'd be more likely to do that than than Bryce. I think. Mm. See, Bryce is the one who said booby 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 booby. Yeah, but only like in a funny <laughs> way, <laughs> musically. I would never say. I mean, but you're the one who yelled about the lab track. Like, there's a look. Uh, you two are full of surprises. As I we're finding know. Out. I'm gonna say it was me. I think. I think this is beezers, beezers. me because uh, I I when I when I curse it's often very casually or when I'm frustrated and it's and it's I don't it's not a sign of my it's not a sign of how intense my frustration is it's just if I get frustrated I go ah, fuck um, so I I I think damn this fucking shit is me mm. uh, let's see the chat says seventy four percent believe me. All right, so uh, Bonnie is the only, uh, the only one who thinks it's her. Let's take a look at this clip. This is from uh, Night Attack Two Ninety Four, the Virgin Verp. The Virgin Verp. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> goddamn, it doesn't sound near as cursy to me as as goddamn. Hmm. Because it goddamn it is like a request. God, please damn it. Yeah, right. Please please damn this shit. Will you do your lightning thing for hey, me, please? Damn this fucking shit. You know, the thing is, one day I had the <laughs> that, was me. I was like, that was me. Oh, that was the moment. That was the moment. Damn oh, okay. this fucking okay. shit. All right. Okay. That was it. And by the way, for the record, if you're listening, you can't tell that that was from the last time we played Who Said What? <laughs> <laughs> or I Said What? So we are now taking I Said What clips from the last time we played the game I Said What. And by the way, if, if anybody is expecting us to finally wisen up and suddenly know what we've said, uh, uh, bad news, no, bro. That is not going to happen. <laughs> never going to happen. Not ever going to happen. I mean, let, 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 let's just say that those brain cells burn out long ago, <laughs> even if I wanted to, which I don't. <clears throat> All right, the standings going to our final round here. Brian has got two, four, six, eight points. Justin's got two, four, seven, six points. Uh, Bonnie's got three, four, five, six points. I've got seven points, and the chat realm has four, five, six points. So we should just call the game now. Whoever, I, I, I have no idea who's in the lead. So, Whoever's in the lead should win the game. Well, that's my vote. Well, the thing is, Brian, that we're going into our uh, twenty-point round. Oh, don't go there. Oh no, so it's still anybody's game. The quote is, and, and uh, Justin will toss this one to you. The quote is, "Look at Bryce." Look at Bryce. Mm. Oh, this so is So I would imagine that Bryce, uh, I remember Bryce saying this as, look at Bryce. Uh, I would say 
that this is in response to a hilarious Photoshop of all of us. And he's like, oh my God, look at Bryce! <laughs> and looking at himself, but referring to himself in the third person. I think, I think we're on the same page where all of us believe that Bryce said this <laughs> and not body. Are we all on the same page? I am. I am. I think Bryce said this. Uh, oh, no. I would go with Bonnie. I would go with Bonnie. Yeah. Bonnie, what do you think? Uh, I think it was probably me because that's like a go-to. I'm like, look at a thing because like, look at this, look at that because I'm visual. Yeah. And then um, also it's really, I, I've never heard Bryce talk in third person. So mm. I could see myself doing it for a bit. Kind of yeah. like like Brian, I think w- w- was mentioning like, oh, and look at look at Bryce, look at Bryce there. I don't know. I think it's a. I think this question is tricky. Shame mm. on you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, get ready for next time we play this. The quote is, "I think this tricking is question. This, ch- <laughs> this, this, this he can't even remember it now. He just Whatever. she just Shame said on you. before yeah. he forgotten it. This question is tricky. <laughs> All right, the chat room is split, but with nineteen to sixteen, they are going to also say, "Bonnie, let's load up our final quote here for twenty points. It's still anybody's game." <laughs> This is from Night Attack. Oh, this is this is also from Night Attack. Two ninety four. The Virgin Verp. <laughs> Brian. You, Brian. Pays out. Also, wait. Can we please uh, pause for a second on Bryce's big hat face? Oh my oh, God, God, Bryce. I mean, uh, also is that <laughs> pause? Oh my God. How are we doing? Oh my again? God. It's okay. So <laughs> also. <laughs> Virtually wearing the same shirt. <laughs> Virtually wearing the same shirt. <laughs> wow. And in the same shot, too, oh. with the four of us on the with the picture in picture. Oh my God. Um, so by the way, again, for audio listeners, this is now <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> The original clip is the clip where Bonnie made fun of Bryce's hat, and she's making fun of his hat again. Uh, meanwhile, it's not from that episode. It's from not- the other episode oh where God. we are now in the same position. Brian's wearing a dark blue shirt like he was in the meta. There's three levels. The second level is... The same as level three, in which Brian's wearing a dark blue shirt, I'm wearing a white shirt, and both Bonnie and Bryce are on camera in the two shots now below. Oh my God, Holy I'm shit, so this is meta. Sorry. That's also, this so is good. like inception level of. Oh, it's great. Uh, it's great. It's great. Okay. So, so uh, uh, did we already get the answer already? Yeah, that's right. It was Bonnie who said that, and with a score of. Yeah. 27 <laughs> points. Our winners uh, are Justin, Bonnie, and the chat. Yeah. Hey. Oh, my God. By the way, I didn't know that there was such a phase of Bonnie just being right up Bryce's ass about shit. I mean, just, I mean, just fucking, let me say uh, for the next. Jesus Bezos, guys. <laughs> Jesus, let me say Bezos. for the next for the next rendition of this game that I think you look great in hats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll put this right back in. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I want to give uh, shouts out to Ballwasher69 who put this together. Ballwasher also made one of Brian and Justin quotes, so maybe we'll play that in a future episode. If you've got a game that you would like us to play mm-hmm. here, uh, send it to mail at nightattack.tv. In fact, I just uh, uh, was just emailing someone today about an idea and giving them some pointers on uh, where to go with it. So uh, please mail at nightattack.tv is where you can send that in. And we might play it here in the game portion of the game. Which is good. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Huh. But this is the portion of the show where we like to shout out other people's projects with a little thing we like to call diamond time. Indeed, Brian. Head on over to our Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. And we will read the top three posts. We begin with Keith. Keith Conrad. Hey guys, I've been meaning to write a novel for years now and it's finally finished. It involves time travel, the attack on Pearl Harbor and overpaid government contractors. It's like the 1980 movie, the final countdown, but 98% different. Putting it out there uh, in the world has been exciting and more than a little terrifying. 
It's available for pre-order at yolo420.com slash shameless plug. And it ships on June 1st, assuming society hasn't collapsed. Again, yolo420.com slash shameless plug. That's cool. It's called Righteous Might. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Spider no, Might that's, that's fucking awesome. Spider Bite writes in saying, hey, it's me again. Uh, while the charity shirts are going good at yellow420.com slash Corona swag, and the first order should be shipping soon. Today I'm here here uh, uh, for entirely selfish reasons. I broke my dang phone and need recommendations on a new one. My carrier is Re- uh, Verizon. I don't need anything super fancy, but my three big wants are a good camera, <laughs> ideally above 60 megapixels, good charging speed, a big battery capacity. What's your go 5,000 5, mAh, it's hard to go back, and got a nice big 128 gigabyte card, so this I don't need a ton of memory. This is ever fucking read. <laughs> so long as it's expandable, thanks. Uh, spider bite. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, check out check out the Diamond Club charity swag shirt. He's uh is raising money for uh, uh feeding America. So make sure you also check that out. <laughs> God damn. Get an iPhone. Get an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and do that. Uh and Thin Ink writes, hey, all, I'm an amateur street photographer currently out of a job. Luckily, some amazing people set up reliefmarket.com a website for artists and photographers to sell prints of their work. If you are an artist looking for an easy way to sell prints, this site is great. You can see what I have for sale at badfights.com. Also, uh, Relief Market is uh, That's relief- That's a great fucking URL. M-A-R-K-T. Yeah, M-A-R-K-T. Yeah, but you can get, you can get to uh, 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 Thin Ink's uh, page there, uh, badfights.com. Yeah, I got one more to throw in there. Uh, Ryan Hopp says, uh, Cheezers Beezers. <laughs> Oh, cheesers, beezers. Uh, hey, man. Uh, hey, Bryce. Yeah, do we have a mail sack to explore? Hey, yeah, let's 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 dive into the join us for drinks in the Diamond Club. In the Diamond Club. Ooh, that sounds grand. Super grand. This is the part of the show near the end of the show where we read your emails that you send into mail at nightattack.tv, like this one. This one is titled Bumpus Frankus Origin Story. Thank you, Bumpus Frankus. So back when I hated my job, I was looking for distractions in podcast form, and I found it in the form of a long-running japes and hijinks of the Critical Hit Podcast from Majorspoilers.com. One day, they had a fellow on from the Morning Stream podcast by the name of Scott Johnson. No, that's Johnson. I needed more podcasts to listen to so that I wouldn't have to listen to my coworkers and Scott fit the bill. The only problem was I didn't enjoy any of what he had to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Except this one guy who showed up on Tuesdays. That jury duty segment was pretty good. So I followed Justin to Weird Things and then to NSFW. I believe my first episode was the Wayne Newton's Yacht episode. Sorry, I'm not more of an old timer. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of remember That's Wayne That's pretty Newton. fucking old. That, and, and talk about uh, uh, the, the things that we can't remember. I do remember Wayne's Yacht. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wayne's Yacht, baby. <laughs> yacht what? sunk, baby. Yacht <laughs> sunk. Uh, I found Brian and Justin's thing to be far superior to any of the endless font of beige gossip. That was my job. So I got fired uh, when <laughs> NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> so. When NSFW died, I had a moment of anxiety about the future of the hosts. Imagine my relief when Night Attack was born, like the legendary phoenix rising from the ashes of some stuff. I occasionally (laughs) am able to stick my head in the Twitch channel. Damn the man. Otherwise, I catch the shows on YouTube. There are dozens of us. Thanks for all that you do. Keep the good work. And uh, is old John Smokey still dead, dead though? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Oh no, he definitely died. I mean, he 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 died. We we reported on his death. By the way, uh, man, fucking Jesus, do we love fucking with power? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 there was a third rail that we were not supposed to talk about. So it's like, okay, we're gonna do a whole episode about old John Smokey dying. Wait. Oh Jesus! Oh wait, shit! I forgot about that. That was uh, that was the way we talked about Tom Merritt leaving the network. That's right, and everybody oh. was sad about it, so we refused to say anything about it. So we did a whole episode about how old John Smokey was dead, and then old John Smokey, not Tom, called in 
and uh and then uh we he was like right away i was I'm, I'm doing the whatever and we're like ah get out of here you asshole we thought you were dead and then that was the end of the episode <laughs> holy yeah. shit okay uh yeah and for the record they really didn't want us to leave <laughs> like so we were doing we, we were we were threading a needle <laughs> yeah uh uh bumpus francus uh uh post scripts this me- this message saying so at tangentially it's the weird things podcast that got me off my butt to get the skills to not work bottom of the barrel jobs any longer thank you weird things oh wow there you go that's fantastic thank yeah you, nice thank you mr bumpus all right we have a question here uh uh from our friend steak plant steak plant is back and asks what delivery pizza is your favorite i think we talked previously what home pizza is your favorite and brian was insistent that they were all bad and you would rather get the delivery so, uh, in fact, Brian, we'll start with you. What is the, the your favorite delivery pizza? Papa John's thin crust. Boom. Oh, Papa John's. Is that is that the cracker crust or the New York style crust? Uh, I believe the New York is like the hand tossed. Uh, I I mean the one that, that that's practically a cracker. Uh, if it's thin enough, then they have to cut it in squares instead of you know into pizza shapes. Yeah. yeah. So you like the squares? Yeah. I mean, I, I I hate the squares, but I tolerate them because that's how thin I like my crust. Gotcha. Juice. You want to know what I thought I was gonna be the Visigoth saying Papa John's, but I'll go the regular ass crust because there's two reasons why, and this was just some a childhood bonding, but uh, the pizza was good. They have the garlic dipping sauce, mm. A plus. That sauce is and awesome. And they had the pepperoncini. Mm-hmm. And I love all of those things. It was like my favorite thing in a pizza. I'll go uh, better ingredients. We've ditched the racist, Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the name of our company, Papa John's. Yeah. Don't think yeah, of Papa that guy. John's. I love it. I love their new slogan, Papa John's. It's more of a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John's. Uh, none of us are watching football, so why would any of us complain about football? <laughs> pa- Papa John's. We we mean grandfather. We mean we mean the, from the old country, Papa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Papa John's. Uh, Papa regenerates like the doctor. <laughs> uh, so Bonnie doesn't know oh, any of this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not but, to get bogged down. So, uh, okay. Founder slash spokesman for Papa John's uh, kind of found it real inconvenient that the NFL was in the middle of a firestorm of uh, racial tensions based on uh, whether or not you should kneel or stand for the... So he got in the middle of that? Uh, boy, did he ever! That oh yeah, dumb. he got in the middle of it and like tried to in there and then said and said nobody's <clears throat> thinking about the real victims. Me, who's not selling as many pizzas as I used to. <laughs> that's, oh. that's pretty much exactly what he said. Uh, oh. But on, on to uh, uh, the food. Bonnie, do you have a favorite delivery brand? Oh, if po- uh, if pizza didn't make me vomit, literally. Oy. Yeah. Oy. It doesn't sit well. Do you, well, do you, okay, well, okay. what are the stores you, because sometimes they have pastas or salads. Are you the type of, like, I won't get the pizza, but that if you get me a side. That doesn't mean I thing. haven't tried <laughs> Oh, okay. I love pizza. Yeah. It just oh. is bad. She and really I is, man. It. She's she's like a she's like um like ah know. pizza. It's the worst. I'm gonna vomit. It's terrible. I'll take two. <laughs> Medium crust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bonnie. Th- th- I try. If this is if if this is if, if this is sensitive, so mm-hmm. just let me know. But uh, that is a food attitude that I tend to see from uh, people who are like lactose intolerant. They're just like. I know cheese is bad for me. Yeah. I will suffer the consequences later. Yeah, I don't know. I, I finally went and got, you know, all my kids have food allergies. And then I finally went and did some, like, testing for food intolerances. So I don't even know what that means. I need to go to a legitimate allergist and do the whole thing. Mm. But, yeah, I'm not supposed to have cheese or wheat. So, uh, yeah. Mm. I get so like which a, of, I don't think which I of the chains do you like the best? But, which oh, of the chains do you give like? Give me the, best? the thickest crust, Papa John's, Ugh. with all the wow. veggies and like Ugh. olives all over it. Ugh. Oh, God. All over it's so it. good. And the sauce, that garlic sauce is the amazing. Garlic the garlic sauce, sauce is Wow, is I didn't the know jam. that we were all, yeah. I didn't know that we were all fucking Papa John's people because I've definitely shared. 
multiple Domino's pizzas with you guys. Well, I've never see, a Papa it's, John's. Only, it's only recently that we've even had a Papa John's yeah. around. So, like you so would have that to might have been a, older days. A significant oh, drive gotcha. to get to. Oh, to a, Also, a Papa I'm seeing some sass in the chat like, oh, no love for local chains. Fucking, this is not the question. No, 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 no. But, but, not but the question. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Uh, you'd be thankful because do we have the, the fucking trump card on that shit with yeah. bias yeah it's like like I, we, we could have said we could have all, all talked about fucking hyper we could have shit that no one the fuck out yeah. of all this yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my god yeah. but you know we were on top of a mountain we went up to uh where nerdtacular happens yep snowbird yep. yeah snowbird. snowbird and brian's just like oh man i had such a great time i want to bring you and the kids so we go up there no it was just me and you for winter yeah. for for a thing so it was just me and brian at the top of the mountain and then the guy goes, do you want your photograph taken? And we're just like, uh, sure, I guess, or whatever. Anyways, he, where are you from? Austin, Texas. And he goes, do you know this place called Pius? It is the yeah! best wow. pizza I've had. I go everywhere. And I'm just like, yeah, that's the wow. stuff. Pius is good. Pius uh, is fab. For me, if this was, a, say. But it's not delivery. <laughs> Uh, right, you can't get pious delivered. Yeah, <laughs> I I would say if you asked me this two years ago, it would be Domino's all day. It would have been the Domino's standard because mm-hmm. uh, Domino's has gotten better over the years. Because Domino's definitely used to be really shitty. Mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, years Do- Domino's won my heart back <clears throat> the moment they had a. Uh, themed delivery updates and one of the themes was like hair metal oh yeah and the so, pizza tracker yeah the pizza the tracker, pizza tracker. <laughs> where it's like wait like have would... i have i have i ever told you have i ever told you this story about when i went to the domino's hq no, no. tell me about it so uh, uh it was right after i guess a south by or some reason why i was down there and we ordered a pizza and you were very excited to use the Domino's hair metal pizza tracker, which is like a a progress bar for like, (laughs) Uh, and so I, within a few weeks went to the Domino's headquarters in Michigan to do a go game. And I was like, Oh, like, uh, 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 very excited to be with you guys. Uh, uh, I actually just had a Domino's pizza about 48 hours ago. It was great. And let me just tell you, I got a buddy who's wild about that hair metal tracker and no reaction. Mm. <gasps> Literally <gasps> like what? nothing wow. like they, uh, uh, I don't know whether or not I'm just talking to the wrong people, but not even, I guess maybe it tells you about how happy people are working at Domino's corporate, but they were not in the mood for jokes about the product. Wow. Oh, okay. Apparently so, so was- I, I was waiting for like, like somebody was like, uh, yeah, that was Doug's account. <laughs> He was a child molester. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it might have been something weird. Like, uh, maybe, maybe the stats on that, like, Brian was the anomaly or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, Everybody uh, else loves the bouncy house one. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a few years ago, the answer would have been Domino's. But now I'm on, now I'm on the Little Caesars train. When, uh, when, you, can, when you can get that, that value oh, pizza... Shit. And they have good they, the sauce. The sauce that they have is right, is, on, is good on. at little at Little Caesars. The little pizza, Caesars, the red sauce mm-hmm. versus uh, fuck Mary kill Little Caesars, okay. CC's pizza. Mm. I mean, CC's you can eat all you want. I know, right? You can, no, but and they have the little dessert. Caesar's I mean, wait, wait, wait. post post Rona, post Rona, you got to oh. cut with CC's now, man. Who knows the next time a buffet is gonna roll around like that? Oh. But if we're if we're talking about the green, the if we're talking about the 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 before four time. Uh, man, uh, it's not better than CC's in my book. Uh, uh, it's been too long, and there's oh, a CC's oh, near I would me. Not, I would not, I, I would not trade Caesars for CC's. No I would, way. I would take CC's over Caesars. But, really? Uh, wait, wait, no, no, I, I would say CC's. Yes, I would go with CC's you over Caesars. You would go with CC's. Wow. I, I gotta you guys, say, wait, are you guys anti CC's? CC's is good, but. Mm, no. It's magic. Look, look, no. there's good. I mean, it's like, okay, look, Caesars a is unicorn like is not just a fucking horse with a bone out of his forehead. It's mm-hmm. a fucking unicorn. CeCe's is a goddamn no. unicorn. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, it's like, like, like now, now ask me CeCe's for Domino's, CeCe's for Little John, uh, uh, Papa John's, not Little John's. Uh, 
I would I would say I don't know. It's more of a conversation, but not Caesar. Caesar, I I don't know if I've gotten really? a little Caesar's pizza in fucking Man. two decades. Okay. Tell you what, though, I'll tell you what though. When you can get a whole pie, uh, for less than the cost of like a fast food combo, like we're talking about a completely different game. We're talking about a very economical game, and that they do have good. They have good. Uh, they really have good tomato sauce on the on little Caesar's. I agree. I, I I stick with that. And here is the bonus to Little Caesars is that they fully cook their pizza. They're not just trying to <laughs> sling out this like like buffet pie that's only half to cook. I have never gotten a fully cooked pizza. Right. But I do CC's. like Can, I do like the tiny slices. I like the tiny CC slices. Those are very good. Those are very fun to eat. All yeah. right. First of all, let me reveal the big magic trick that CC's does. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hello, welcome to our pizza and pasta buffet. You'll find lots of pizza and pasta in the buffet. It's only uh, how much do you have in your pocket change? Uh, you know what? Just give me half of that. Come on in. Have all the pizza and pasta you want. Oh, wait. Is half the fucking real estate dedicated to sugary sweet desserts? Well, I, I mean, I guess if it's right there, what are you going to not take it? It's, it's, it's brown sugar on, on pizza dough. It's powdered sugar on pizza dough. It's brownies with brown sugar and pizzas filled with pizza dough. The dessert pies are good. The dessert pies are They're good. good they, ass pies. They, they trick you all over the place. It's so good. I, I was going to say, the way you phrase that made it sound like it was not your taste to be taken advantage oh, of no, no, that no. way. It, that's why I love about it. Look, look <laughs> with you a straight face, the good scam. Say, yes, yes. I can it's like, we all know what I really want, but I would of. never in a million years <laughs> say, I want to go to a place with nothing but powdered sugar and pizza dough. But instead, it's like, well, let's go to pizza and pasta. All you can eat. Oh, wait, is this is what's in front of me. I don't want to wait five minutes for a, a pastrami pizza. Let's give me. Brian. Am I, I just don't know why. Who do you think that's a scam on? <laughs> I mean, no, it's not a scam. The thing is, Justin, it's not a scam. It's an excuse. It's an out. It's a scapegoat. Oh, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna go have the you're in the whole pyramid. You're going to fucking CC's. It's not like we all like, know. Oh, I went to twenty. Uh, I went to twenty four hour fitness, and did you know they got pie in the bag? <laughs> if you're going to fucking an all you can eat pizza and pasta oh, place. Oh, I've seen that yes, pie. Yes, they also have rich desserts. <laughs> Justin, you, you already chose to go to hell, and you're shocked that there's flames. <laughs> Look, Justin, some of us are value conscious, and we want to feed an entire family for a reasonable price of under $25 for the whole gang. And so suddenly you're there and you're like, oh, what am I going to not have? This I would just say you can get three You can get three good full-sized Little Caesars for that price, but okay. All right. Uh, all right, we have one more here. This is from Ben. Ben writes, I wanted to share that I stole your idea for the Would You Rather Bot game and did it with my friends using Kahoot and a Zoom call since we haven't been able to hang out. They loved it. It worked for a, a little bit different since there were 14 participants, so they had to guess the right answer and be fastest and we didn't have a lot of time to talk at the reasoning but it was still a blast um i it also tried to make the last question worth all the points but you could not do that because kahoot only lets you set a certain amount of points uh so it was just double points we also didn't have any prizes but the last place did have to take a shot of the liquor up uh, of their liquor of choice as punishment. No, you should make it the liquor that they don't like as punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure producer that... Producer Bryce, producer Bryce, <laughs> producing that Zoom call. He's producer Bryce. <laughs> I'm not sure that they would all be fans of the show. So, okay, well, you maybe didn't need to tell us that, but it's cool to see... <laughs> Well, not yeah. only producing the event they're reporting on, also yeah. editing the email they send us. Go we, ahead. Uh, we got a, we got a very we, you know sometimes on the on the Night Attack Twitter account we'll get someone responding to one of those things like what are your favorite podcasts and they'll say Night Attack show and so we get those a couple of times a week and we got one <laughs> this week and I won't blow this person up but they said uh, oh yeah I I love Ice Cream Social and when Brian and Justin from Night Attack come on. I don't like Night Attack that much. <laughs> so just uh, anyway, uh, I also wanted to. Oh, wait, no. Um, let's see. Uh, but it's cool to see how you bring some people into the Diamond Club through the games. Are there public documents that we can continue to use or steal in the future? Hit me up on Discord. I can make some of that available. I also want to thank Bryce for being the MC for all the games and for everyone who has submitted games. It took a lot of effort to find questions and enter them in Kahoot. And then as a game show host, you have to keep the energy alive. I don't know how Bryce does it each week. Keep up the good work. And thanks for helping my friends. I connect during COVID, Ben. Thank you, Ben. That's very sweet. 
Hells yeah. Uh, if you have an email you would like us to read yeah. here at the end of the show, which is what this was, send it into mail at nightattack.tv and we might read it at the mailbag segment, which is what this is in the end of the show. Bye. Hey, man. Uh, <clears throat> what do we learn outside of the fact that uh, that I, too, don't like whatever that person's live Zoom meeting was? We <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that people are ashamed of us. <laughs> no, look, we're ashamed of ourselves. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a virtuous cycle. And they're just mimicking their heroes. So that's right. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, 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 look, Brian, we learned we learned that Matt Donnelly's performance in Hitting the Nuts is fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it. More importantly, we learned that apparently uh, I said what will never die because we're now on the second level of Inception on it. Uh, yeah, we, we learned uh, uh, that we could all use a little more cheesers, beezers. In our <laughs> uh, hey, man, we also learned that last minute we could switch to a totally independent internet setup and apparently get through a show. That's pretty good news. Bryce is cringing because that means that it can explode at the very last minute. Yeah, we'll talk in the after show. Okay. Uh, and most uh, importantly, yes. we learned that we'll see you next Tuesday. Dying a fire. Who's the bit boss? Uh, the bit boss. With 2000 Bits' Rock Roll Martian again. Thank you, Rock Roll Martian. Woo! Enjoy the hat. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>